let's add some style for the h2 and the h3 tags and also the uh, dress tag which is down in the footer okay so what i want to do i'm going to the web page uh, any of them will do okay at the moment the h2 is just black text there uh what i want to do is i want to move it in a bit to the right and i want to put a background color on it and i want to space the letters out uh, similarly i want to do the same for the h3 headings down here okay except this time i want to put a background color in that's only going to go a bit of the way across the whole page okay so let's get going on that okay so i have the code here already so let's um paste it in into the style sheet and let's apply it and then see does that make sense okay i want the background the same background color for both headings um just have a look at what i'm doing here okay this is remember the bit before the curly brace uh, in CSS is called a CSS selector. Okay, this is an example of a composite CSS selector in that it's been applied to more than one tag at a particular time. So you must separate them by a comma. Okay, if you didn't have the comma, okay, that would mean every H3 that's inside a H2, but you should never have a H3 inside a H2 tag. Okay, when you put the comma in, you're saying these are both independent of each other. So every H2 and every H3 is going to have a background color red. Uh, what I am doing for H2 is I am setting the font size. I want it to be a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm not setting the font size for H3. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that the H3 will pick up the font size that the browser says it's going to apply. Okay, so each browser has its own built-in style sheet. Maybe you've never thought about why is text normally black and why is the background normally white? Okay, each browser has a style sheet uh, with a set of styles uh, default for text. Okay, so H3 is just picking up the default and the browser style sheet is often called the user agent style sheet. Uh, if you go into uh, inspect and developer tools. Okay, so what are we doing here? We know that the width of the wrapper is a thousand pixels. We know if we divide that by 16, we are going to get 63 EM. So I am setting the width of the H3 to be 20 EM. Okay, so it's only going to be about one third of the way across. Um, what am I doing here? Text indent. Okay, hopefully I don't have to explain what indent means. Pushes the text over to the right by one EM. But so does padding. Remember the box model a few videos back? Padding is the space between the content and the border of the tag okay so padding left 1 em is going to have the same effect as text indent 1 em okay so there's more than one way to skin a goat and we can space the letters uh, as well which we're going to do to the h2 okay so let's save that and come back and remember in the style sheet it's very easy to do don't go run uh, and do your shortcut because it's a style sheet not a web page Okay, so let's apply that and we can see something is happening here. Okay, history indented, main peaks indented, H3 indented, uh, H2 indented, text indent, padding left, they're both, they're both being applied. Uh, history, background color red the whole way across, main peaks across roughly a third of the way. Okie doke. So that is the H2 and H3 styles of section 14. Let us move on and do something with the address. Okay, sorry, I make no apologies for uh, not typing this in. Okay, uh, if you want me to put you to sleep, I can certainly uh, spend these videos uh, typing in code. 
uh, let's just copy and paste it okay so the address tag what styles am i applying to the address tag down the footer down to bottom i want to center the text uh, now we've got font family we've got font size we've got font weight we've got font style we've got all these font hyphen something style properties okay what i'm doing in my line 51 here is i'm mixing them all up together okay uh the browser knows that normal refers to font style okay the browser knows the point 8 em refers to uh font size and the browser knows that font family is sans serif okay and to be honest i can't remember what small caps uh refers to okay but i'm only human okay border top what am i doing just on the top of the address okay back to the box model i am putting remember 1em is 16 pixels so that's 8 pixels double green line okay relatively thin and then i'm putting a bit of padding on the top as well because i don't want my text inside the address to be right up against this double green line okay so a little bit of padding above it let us go to the browser and see what happens and there we can see it uh let me just magnify that and come down here and we can see our text is all capitalized the first letter is a little bit bigger than the small caps okay the b is bigger than lacksmith and so on here's our double line for our border and there's the padding top space okay now this little image is missing here uh the reason for that is uh i have the what we've become on to shortly uh, in fact the next section creating a fav icon okay we're make, we're creating a fav icon uh, out of the ring of golden logo uh, i have it in my code here i shouldn't have it i should still you should you will be seeing the sunburst here in between them it's just i i haven't got that code correct so i'm, I'm sorry for that but uh we'll put the fav icon in the next section okay but the address text styles are being applied in any case 